Okay, I don't have time for a cell phone. This is ridiculous. CHP is arresting engineer Gregoire for where he spotted the fire engine. A CHP officer handcuffs a Chula Vista firefighter on the scene of a crash. And tonight, we're hearing the reaction over the radio as the incident escalated. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. And I'm Carlo Cicchetto. One of our cameras was rolling as all this happened, and today both agencies met to talk it over. CBS News 8's Abby Alford is live in our newsroom with the fallout. Abby? Barbara Lee and Carlo, CHP will not give us information about who this officer is or if he's been reprimanded for cuffing a firefighter during a rollover accident in Chula Vista last night on the 805 near Telegraph Canyon Road and East Orange Avenue. But we are told before this dispute, CHP has threatened to arrest other area firefighters for not moving their trucks out of the lane blocking traffic. But our cameras caught the first area firefighter slapped with cuffs. Thousands of comments on the CBS News 8 Facebook page and website outraged about a handcuffed firefighter in Chula Vista. Hey, I just want to, he's, he's arrested me. Chula Vista firefighter Jacob Gregoire calls for his supervisor. Only CBS News 8 has this heated exchange between the veteran firefighter and an unnamed CHP officer about the safety of where the fire truck is parked during a rollover accident. CHP has guidelines to safely clear the road, but you see it's up for debate who was in the wrong legally. Firefighters say they park at an angle to protect emergency crews, patients, and drivers. We're in the middle of patient care with patients on the freeway. They're putting them in handcuffs at this time and walking them away. We spoke to the union president for Chula Vista Fire who says Gregoire did the right thing to protect the public. I'm very proud of Jake. He made all firefighters look good in that situation because he, he was there to protect the citizens and he was willing to take a stand to do that. This isn't the first time a firefighter has been detained. We found it happened in Santa Barbara involving a CHP and a firefighter in Missouri. A firefighter